Nestor Joaquin, he took everything from me. Heart-wrenching testimony today in downtown L.A. as young victims came face-to-face -face with a Mexico-based megachurch leader who was just sentenced for sexually abusing underage girls in L.A. County. Nassau Joaquin Garcia will spend 16 years behind bars after pleading guilty. He was arrested at LAX in 2019. The victims were not shown in court today, but you could hear the pain in their stories. CBS 2's Serene Branson has more. I have suffered more trauma and pain than I can ever begin to describe. Holding back tears but unleashing raw emotion, Jane Doe number four addressed a downtown LA courtroom Wednesday, describing the pain she experienced at the hands of 53-year-old Nason Joaquin Garcia. He was the leader of La Luz del Mundo Church, which means light of the world. Garcia was considered the apostle of the church, which has millions of followers, including right here in Southern California, a position his victim said he used to overpower them. I was never, ever allowed to say no. And even when I tried, I was reminded why I couldn't. But now he's been sentenced to 16 years and eight months behind bars for sex crimes involving three underage girls. Now I'm talking to you. I want you to hear my voice. You destroyed me. You took everything from me. Garcia has been in custody since June of 2019. He pleaded guilty last week and avoided a trial and minimized his prison sentence. The fallout from the abuse still resonates. I still suffer from depression, trust issues, constant panic attacks. I keep finding myself wishing that he had just killed me because at least then I would be put out of my misery. Even though Garcia is headed to prison, his victims are not happy. They pleaded with the judge to set aside the plea agreement between Garcia and the attorney general's office. It was decided without my input, without any consideration of the impact that it has on us as victims. This plea deal is not enough. He deserves a lifetime for each and one of us, Jane Doe's. Addressing the court, the prosecution became emotional, calling the victims brave for coming forward. I'm imploring every member of this church today to stop harassing these women. In a statement last week, California Attorney General Rob Bonta said Garcia's conviction sends a clear message that sexual exploitation is never acceptable in California. In the newsroom, I'm Serene Branson, CBS 2 News.